Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. All right, today I am doing a pamper routine. This one is specifically for the colder winter months. So I'm just gonna share a few things that I like to do with you guys. I'm gonna start first with a DIY though. This is gonna be a dry scalp treatment. It's very easy to make. All you need is half of a ripe banana, some honey, and some olive oil. So I'm gonna smash up the banana, then I'm gonna add about a heaping spoonful of honey. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. So I have my olive oil in a little squeeze bottle, so I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit in there, but I would say about a teaspoon of olive oil. And I'm gonna mix that together really, really well. If you don't like the clumps, which I prefer it without the clumps, I just stick it in my blender and blend it up really quick. Now you can take the mixture and massage it into your scalp, leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes before you shampoo, and then you can save the rest by wrapping it up and putting it in the refrigerator. You can do this treatment twice or three times a week until you run out. So I'm gonna do that before I shampoo and leave that in my hair. And then next I'm gonna be making a DIY hot oil treatment. This is also very easy to make and something you can use before you shampoo for extra hydration. So it's really easy. All I'm gonna be doing is three tablespoons of coconut oil. I have jojoba oil and avocado oil. I melted the coconut oil in the microwave for about 10 seconds and I'm gonna add about half of a teaspoon of each of the oils into the coconut oil. I'm gonna also add a little tiny bit of olive oil I have some fresh rosemary from my garden. You can add a few drops of essential oil for scent, like rosemary or another one of your choice, but I have some fresh rosemary, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put the leaves in there, and I'm gonna let that marinate for an hour or so, and I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna remove the rosemary with a mesh strainer, and then you can heat this up for about 10 to 15 seconds in the microwave for a hot oil treatment. Usually the coconut oil will solidify in colder temperatures, so you will have to microwave it, but it's not absolutely necessary if you don't want to. And then you can take a little bit of the warm oil and apply it to your hair. I like to do it from the middle of my hair down, focusing on my ends. So I like to leave this in my hair with the scalp treatment also on the top of my head for about 10 to 15 minutes, but you can leave it on up to one or two or three hours and watch a movie or a show. And for today, I'm just gonna put my hair up in a ponytail. I'm gonna go ahead and do a few other treatments before I jump in the shower. I'm gonna start by washing my face with my vitamin C cleanser. I like this line, Derma Doctor. I have a few things from them, and I'm just gonna go ahead and cleanse my skin. And then I'm gonna exfoliate, which you wanna make sure you do exfoliate in the winter months. I mean, you can exfoliate all year long, but sometimes you have that kind of dry, dull skin in the winter months, and it's extra important to exfoliate with a physical exfoliant like this one from Fresh. I really love this scrub. It smells amazing and it's really good, but it is kind of pricey. I've done a little DIY dupe version of this before and I will put the recipe below in my description bar in case you haven't seen that video. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and exfoliate my skin. I like to go down my neck and my chest as well. And then I'm gonna put on a deep hydrating mask. This is a hydrating mud mask from Shea Moisture. I found this at Target, but you can find it at most drugstores. And I'm just gonna take a brush, and I'm gonna brush this all on my face, down my neck, on my chest, on my arms, and let that sit and dry before I jump in the shower and wash it off. I normally only apply it that much all over my body if I know I'm gonna be in the shower right away after because then you can wash it off pretty easily. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and shampoo my hair. I recently got this Echo Bella moisturizing shampoo. It smells like vanilla. I've been using the body moisturizer for years. You can find this at Whole Foods. That's a really great line in general. I like a bunch of things from Echo Bella. But yeah, the vanilla shampoo and conditioner and body lotion smells divine. And then I'm gonna use the Shea Moisture Deep Treatment Mask and I'm gonna focus on my ends. Obviously, since I use the pre-shampoo oil treatment, my hair is definitely already moisturized, so I'm just gonna focus on my ends with this treatment, but you can certainly kind of amp up your treatments during the winter time and use a moisturizing mask. And then I'm gonna use this loofah. I usually will either use exfoliating gloves or one of my DIY exfoliators. I've done a variety of them on my channel, but I also really like these little loofahs, um, and you can just put your body wash on there and go ahead and exfoliate your body. And then when I exit the shower, I'm using my Pixie Rose Oil Blend. 
I love this. I've tried more expensive rose oils and this one is definitely just as good and it's not doesn't make me break out. It smells amazing and it's really, really hydrating. So I've just been using this at night actually. After I wash my face, I use that. Then I'm using some coconut oil all over my body. Again, I've done a variety of DIY moisturizers and all sorts of different things on my channel, but right now I'm just gonna do coconut oil. And then two of my skincare and hair secrets are a satin pillowcase you can find at most beauty supply stores and a humidifier, especially in the winter months. It's great for your skin and your hair. The humidifier obviously just keeps the air a little bit more humid, so it helps seal in moisture and great for your hair and your skin. So those are two of my tips for the winter months. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you like my channel, please be sure to subscribe for new videos every week and check out my last two videos. And I have another channel as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.